This video introduces the geometry of the vector product between two vectors. The vector product of two vectors A and B with included angle theta, we will write them as A cross B, is a vector such that the magnitude of A cross B is magnitude of A times magnitude of B sine of theta, where the theta is angle between A and B. And what is the direction of this A cross B now? Now A cross B, the direction is perpendicular to the plane containing A and B. That means it must perpendicular to A and B both. And it's given by the right hand rule, which means it points the way your right thumb points when your finger curves through the angle theta from A to B. So the vector product will be a vector. So what are the key points? First, A cross B is perpendicular to both A and B. Second, we always take the angle between A and B to be 0 and pi. That means between 0 and 180 degree. Here is a picture illustration. A cross B is always perpendicular to A and B. And let's show you the illustration here. I have a vector A here and a vector B here. So when you find A cross B, you have to turn from A to B. And use your right thumb. You find that the thumb is pointing upwards, as you show here. And that direction is the direction of A cross B. And the magnitude of A cross B is the magnitude of A, magnitude of B sine theta. And so A cross B is magnitude of A, magnitude of B sine theta times the unit vector N, where unit vector N is a unit vector in the direction of A cross B given by the right hand rule where the thumb show. This product sometimes we also call it the cross product. So cross product and the vector product mean the same thing. What is important is the cross product will be a vector. It has magnitude and it also has direction. And the direction is followed by the right hand rule. And what are the properties of this vector product? First, we will find that A cross B is minus B cross A. So A cross B and B cross A have opposite direction. And if M is any number, that means if M times A cross B equal to M times A cross B or A cross M times B. And it's also distributive. A cross B plus C is the same as A cross B plus A cross C. And the last point is, if A cross B is equal to 0, then A and B are parallel to each other, which we can easily understand because the length of A cross B is the magnitude of A, magnitude of B, sine theta, where the theta is angle, where theta is angle between A and B. So this is 0 means theta equals 0 or 180 degree. Then sine theta will be 0. And that will give you A cross B equals 0. And that is why we say when A cross B equals 0 and A and B are non-zero vector, then this A and B must be parallel to each other. 